I'll run through these pretty quickly, but website relevance to topic and Corey. So was your topical authority on that top on that subject? <clears throat> Are you answering users questions throughout the journey? Uh, once again, referring back to not just answering this question, but answering the next question, and the next follow up question. Uh, Google is looking at your overall document corpus in relation to a relevant topic and judging how authoritative your site is or non-authoritative your site is for that topic. Uh, there's also query dependent measures <clears throat> kind of tying in the personalization. They're considering geographical and language factors uh, to really select the most relevant resources, right? So if you're searching in Spanish um, and you're based in the US, right? They're going to try to modify those results uh, specific for your intent. User interaction data, we've also talked about this, uh, but Google is looking at user interaction data for your pages. What's, what's the dwell time? Are users clicking? What's the click-through rate? A number of factors, and they're prioritizing relevant resources over less engaging resources. Even if the relevant resources don't even appear in the top 100 results, if Google deems it to be a more relevant resource for that topic, to possibly send them further down the funnel or to directly answer their question. Google is not factoring in, are you Forbes? Are you Nike.com? Are you an authoritative site when they're looking at interaction data? They are overall looking at you know, topical authority and relevance, but not when they're examining user interaction data. <clears throat>